So, a Donovan, Revi Donovan Revival, let's have one, why not? Well, I'm going to give you ten reasons in a minute, uh, in a few minutes, why we should have one. But, you know, um, many young people don't realise how important Donovan was in the 60s. This is the problem, and a lot of his music seems to have disappeared. Unless you hunt for him on YouTube or wherever, you just don't hear a lot of his album material. We all know him for songs like Catch the Wind and the Hurdy Gurdy Man and Mellow Yellow and Sunshine Superman, Atlantis and lots of hits uh, in the mid 60s but of course he was a um, a big big star toured the world a lot of big bands of the time were on his support bill he was the main man um, he taught John Lennon how to finger pick acoustic guitar which led John Lennon into a different area when he wrote sort of acoustic songs for a while. Um, so why have a revival? Well, as I say, young people should be reintroduced or introduced to his music. Um, Donovan was only 18, just turned 18 when he, when he had his first hit. Um, and within a few weeks, that was Catch the Wind, and with a few week, within a few weeks the Ed Sullivan Show called and he was whisked off to America. He was in the charts in America and Britain at the same time. He in 1965, 66, 67 and 68, he was um, one of the main folk artists. But he wasn't just a folk, he wasn't, just wasn't just a British version of Bob Dylan, far from it. As a couple of his songs sound a bit Dylanish, but he soon changed. He, he started fusing different, different, uh, different music genre. He, started, he, he used Celtic sounds, he used blues, jazz uh, and folk of course which upset a few of the folk purists because they wanted him just to be a, an acoustic folk singer. Um, he toured the world, he had a lot of recording uh, help with people like Jeff Beck, um, Jimmy Page, a lot of people say that um, Led Zeppelin were influenced uh, by, by Donovan. Um, I think there are 10 good reasons why we should look into having a Donovan revival, re-releasing some of his songs, some of his album tracks. He was very, um, he wrote many, many songs in the 60s. He was a bit like a folk Paul McCartney. He'd be writing songs about, usually about girls, but about anything, his family, uh, about his bedroom at home when he was a teenager growing up. He'd write about anything. So, ten reasons why we should um, launch Donovan back into the spotlight. First of all, his music is very happy, it's laid back, it's fun. Let's bring the fun back into music. Number two, there's a naive, um, likeable innocence to his lyrics. Um, lots of lyrics these days are just ugly and hurtful, not very nice. Number three, well, Donovan's melodies are catchy, they're timeless, uh, like Jennifer Juniper that I started to play at the beginning, um, like, Mellow, like Mellow Yellow and The Hurdy Gurdy Man. Mm, number four is, for musicians, his songs are very, very easy to learn, very easy to play and sing, usually three chords. Um, number five, um, well, as I say, he's written many, many songs, and you can find some hidden gems if you search the internet songs that were not released at the time or, or were later released in different formats uh, but a lot of songs he was, he was a very 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 good songwriter um, number six reason number six he's a hippie <clears throat> there are not many true hippies around but he's one definitely uh, number seven his guitar playing he's he is a very, very good musician. He's one of the best finger pickers. He learned from the best. He sounds uncomplicated, but actually he studied the techniques of some of the great finger picking guitarists. He watched them and he persuaded 
some of them to actually teach him how to how to play. So he is a very accomplished musician. Um, number eight, reason number eight, the Hurdy Gurdy Man for me was one of the best songs of the sixties. Brilliant, and it was really recently used um, again for a television series. Um, number nine. Well, young people should be introduced to his music. Um, few people realise that he had a lot of fans like the young Eric Clapton, young Jeff Beck, young Jimmy Page. They played um, in sessions with Donovan and they're on some of his singles. Um, he even got on well with Jimi Hendrix. When Donovan wrote The Hurdy Gurdy Man, he thought it was perfect for Jimi Hendrix, and I think it would have been too, with the guitar solo, and he was going to give it to him to record, but Mickey Most, uh, Donovan's producer, said, no, 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 you record it yourself, it'll be a big hit, and Mickey Most rarely, he was rarely wrong when it comes to actually uh, forecasting what's a hit and what isn't. Uh, and number ten, he, he isn't just a, a folk singer. Um, He's always experimented. He's experimented with so many different types of music. He's steeped in blues and jazz, and as I say, he's a Scotsman, so a lot of Celtic music crept into some of his style. Um, and he was a great, great, wow, he was ahead of his time, I think. If you listen to a lot of his songs, he was way ahead of his time. Um, and so there we are. Um, Donovan, who's still touring now at the ripe old age of 70 something. Um, let's have a Donovan, Donovan revival.